Check, check, one, two, one, two, check, 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 check. What's up, guys? LL Special K34 here, bringing you a Madden 18 tips and tricks how to return punts video. What you want to do, first step, is find someone that's a 93 speed, 93 plus acceleration, two helps. Guys like Tavon Austin, Christian McCaffrey, Tyreek Hill, all the speedsters make your job a hundred times easier. A hundred times easier. What I'm going to show you today are two ways that you can secure the bag on punt returns. The first one's kind of a garbage version. It's what a lot of other YouTubers are putting out. And the second one is one that I've came up with and I don't see any YouTubers doing this. And I can confidently say that my special teams game on YouTube, at least for what I've seen, is the best and most effective and the most realistic when it comes to getting better at the game and just using it in an online setting where you're actually playing against good players. So the first one in the black and white screen as you can see is just about hugging the sideline and breaking it to the outside as you can see I set the H back set up a four-man wall and run to this closest sideline and hug it backwards for a few yards and then break it outside this is what a lot of youtubers are are spewing around and saying that this is how you run back punts for touchdowns well maybe against uh, your, your third grade brother or <laughs> or I, I don't know the computer and th this is on all Madden too guys so that worked on all Madden but realistically against a great Madden player someone who's halfway decent that's not gonna work so let's get into the best way to run back punts what you do is you drop your H back or your linebacker whatever you want to call this lead blocker off 20 yards off the ball I put him 20 yards off the ball because I don't want to get beat on a fake punt pass because the only route that's open on a fake punt pass is that tight end over the middle of the field whatever so I set up a four-man cone a four-man tunnel a four-man funnel tunnel wall whatever you want to call it and I run through the middle first and then break it outside go inside of the gunners from the Saints in this instance their job is to keep it inside. Their job is to keep the ball inside and not let anyone outside of them. So use that to your advantage, get inside of them, and then break it outside. So many of you want to bust it outside right away, and those guys will get you within 5, 10 yards. Give yourself an opportunity to run this thing back for 6 by using the funnel or the cone or the tunnel that you've created. Set up that 4-man front go inside then go outside as you can see Tyreek Hill picks up a large chunk of yards on this because he followed the blockers all right let's see it from this angle drop the linebacker the lead blocker about 20 yards off I have him run back to set up the four man tunnel funnel whatever you want to call it and we break it inside now this is the look you want to get I really don't get much yards on this example but this is what you want to do typically you'd go inside and then outside I should have thought about busting it outside but I wanted to get the sure yards and and what I felt was the best in this scenario which was to cut it back inside and see what happens this won't work every single time people don't run back punts in real life every single time but I guarantee you you will significantly add more yards to your punt returns when doing the strategy so again drop your lead blocker in the middle 20 yards off the ball set up the four-man funnel break it inside through the middle now break it outside that's exactly how you want it to look go inside through the funnel then break it outside Tyreek Hill, 4-6, secure the bag. It's just that easy, guys. Just practice it a little bit, and you will get so much better. This isn't guaranteed to be a touchdown every single time, but you will gain so much yards. I can't explain it. I can't explain it any more than this. Set up that four-man funnel, run through the middle, and then go outside. As you can see, this time, I didn't run through the funnel. I didn't run through the funnel. I went straight outside right away, and they caught me. That is what a lot of you guys are doing right now, and you're not you're not putting yourself in the best position to be successful on punt return so again last time to really explain it set up that four-man wall 
run inside I'm gonna get tackled here but you can see how the outside was open on the right side there inside to outside inside to outside set up that four-man wall that four-man tunnel go inside and this is how it should look boom outside just like that and we're off to the races garbage shoelace tackle but look how much yards you get by just following the inside to outside instead of going outside right away i hope this makes sense guys if you have any more questions feel free to leave a comment um if this has helped you let me know and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I can confidently say that I have the best special teams content for YouTube. If you haven't seen my kick returns video, it has about 15,000 views on it. And it was the only video that I put out relating to Madden. And so many people have told me, hey, this works. This is great. Um, I like, thank you. When are you coming out with more videos? So I, I had to drop this golden nugget on you guys for the punt returns as the rest of the content on YouTube when it comes to special teams is doo-doo. So if you haven't gotten a chance to check out that kick return video, if you haven't, signing out, LL Special K. Peace.